Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks again for tuning in. I know it's been a couple of weeks, uh, maybe two and a half weeks now, but just haven't been feeling it in terms of making a video. Uh, but I appreciate you guys uh, returning back, always checking in, leaving comments. Uh, remember, we're making that push for 2,000 subs, so if you're not a subscriber yet, uh, greatly appreciate it. If you would be, uh, that's all I ever ask, and that really helps the channel out. So... We were away for a couple of weeks. Uh, it was the holidays, obviously. You know, Christmas and New Year's just went by. Uh, I caught the virus, so I was out of it for about two weeks. Didn't feel like shooting anything or, you know, wasn't even really leaving the house. So things have been pretty slow, but um, I still managed to accumulate a, uh, a number of things uh, over the past uh probably a bunch of weeks anyway. I've just sort of been saving them up just, just in case for something like this. So let's get started. Uh, we've got a lot of movies, a uh, bunch of games, and uh, some board games. Board games? Yeah, board game. Uh, so let's get going. Uh, first thing, um, all right, where is it here? Let's start off with this. Pick up this weird 360 controller. It needs to be cleaned up, but I've never seen one with this particular design before. I don't know if anyone has, or if this is, is this a particular specific for any a certain 360 unit? I'm not sure. I just didn't have one with this design. I think it's, I think it, it is legit Xbox, but anyway, it was different looking. So I thought, why not? I uh, grabbed the PS3 DualShock 3 controller. Never have enough of those. I like to bundle those with my systems. Yeah, I always like to have backups for myself. Um, I think this is for one of those uh, Pokemon games. It's like a Pokewalker. Is that what it is? I'm not sure for which uh, versions. I think it's those mini box, mini boxed uh, Pokemon games that it's it's uh, supposed to be bundled with. So I haven't tested it out yet. It obviously needs a new battery. But, um, yeah, we'll get around to that at some point. Um, Bassmasters 2000. My first uh, cartridge picked up for this year. Well, it was actually picked up, I guess, later last year, but we'll include it with this video anyway. So first cartridge for uh, pickup videos for this year. Kind of like it because it's... Uh, it's got these this old uh, Video King Superstore label on it, so it's a little bit of uh, history there. Obviously, it's a rental. And then two more cartridges that I picked up. I didn't have these yet. Uh, this label is not the best, but uh, actually, I don't think I have the set, but it's not. It wasn't cataloged anyway. But Coleco Carnival. So it's similar to the Carnival that's on three sixty or uh, twenty six hundred. Anyway, the label's not the best, but I didn't have it. And then uh, this is a label upgrade for me. Speaking of 2600, we got Phoenix. I don't know what the gameplay is for this one. I can't remember what it is. Pretty sure I've seen it. Pretty sure I've played it. Just don't remember. It's been so long. So yeah, three, three cartridges for the year so far. Unfortunately, they're not the ones that I'm looking for. Now, I've got a bit of a theme movie-wise as well as magazine-wise, but uh, maybe we'll, we'll save what I think for me is my favorite and maybe the best of the pickup for the, the end. Grab this uh, guitar. Is it, uh, is it Tab? Guitar Tab book. Uh, Iron Maiden Anthology. Uh, so what is it? I guess all their... All their a number of their hits anyway. I don't know if you can see that list on the back there. So I'm just going to add that to my uh, guitar tab books that I've been keeping for the past years, even though I never really get around to, to monkeying around or playing with it, but I thought that'd be kind of cool. Never, I don't have a heavy metal one. So, well, if you consider them heavy metal, I don't know. Maybe not so much anymore, but... It's amazing how, like, when you're a kid, Guns N' Roses or Iron Maiden were, like, oh, super heavy metal, kind of. And then now it's just, like, even Metallica, right? And even now you listen to it, it's just like, yeah, that wasn't really that heavy after all. 
Uh, we nunchuck. Right there. Do that with a controller. You can never get enough of those. Um, grab this. This is still sealed. I'm not sure if I'm going to open it or keep it or what, but uh, Trivial Pursuit. Back to the 80s. Stranger Things. Thought that'd be kind of a fun pickup since it's uh, about 80s trivia, so. Kind of cool. Yeah, so still sealed. I don't know. We'll see what we do with it. Um, getting back into reading, so I've... I don't know if you can tell. No, it's hidden behind uh, a bunch of that crap on the shelf there, but uh, one of my... Um, one of my favorite authors, anyway, Robert Jordan, he's passed away, but he wrote this 14 series book, 14 book series of, uh, it's called The Wheel of Time. And um, so we're going to go back and reread it. I don't want to read my original copies because I like them mint and, you know, no, no, no break in the spine, no crease in the spine. So I've gone and uh, I found book one. Really good series. Like I said, it's 14 books. He passed away before he finished the last three. Um, so he got the author, his family, um, uh, hired the author, Brandon Sanderson to help finish the last two or three books, uh, based on, uh, Jordan's notes, but really, really good series fantasy, obviously, but it's a different take on, uh, just, it's not like, uh, it's not like D&D magic or anything like that. It's a, it's a different type of, um, lack of a better term, I guess, power that they, these people have. And it's divided between the men and the women uh, sort of tap into the same power, but the men uh, tap into the evil side of it and the, the women tap into the good side of it. So there's a bit of a clash there. Anyway, I've... I've read like the first eight books a couple times. I, I've always, I was reading it as they were being written by him. And then he passed away. But he was taking so long to put each book out that, you know, you sort of forget what would happen. So, like I said, I've reread it about two or three times. But I've only gotten as far as um, pretty much like book eight or something. So now I'm going to, really stick to it bought this extra one used so i can bend the spine not really care about it because i'm not going to keep it like i said i've got my good copies so um yeah we'll leave it at that real time check it out grab this one i thought it was interesting psychopathic the videos it's like a best of all the videos of um psychopathic records so it's like uh I don't know. I know like Twizit, uh, ICP. So I thought that'd be kind of interesting to check out. Uh, what do we got here? I'm gonna do some video games? Okay, let's do some games. Uh, Mortal Kombat. I'm not a big Mortal Kombat fan, to be honest with you. Uh, fighting games are not really my style, more of like an RPG, but uh, Super Street Fighter 4. Four. I think I'd rather play the Street Fighter games than the Mortal Kombat ones, but... Um, these two I... I thought I had, but I didn't. So Tony Hawk Ride. Uh, you can't see the graphics on the back, but it looks kind of interesting. And then uh, Skate 3. Uh, what do we got here? Grabbed another copy of uh, First Blood. Nice old school. It's got the it's got the label on there that's starting to come off. Let's see if we can stick that back on at some point, maybe or whatever. But you know, love those old old fashioned labels. Um, some more games. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. These are the fun fighting ones. I don't mind these ones when they start to, when they mix up different uh, 
uh, I don't want to say genres, but like, uh, you know, you go like DC versus Marvel, that kind of thing, uh, thinking. So we'll give that a try. Uh, Duel Masters. This is a card game style of fighting, like, uh, what the hell is that stupid card game? I don't know. What does that look like to you? I want to say Yu-Gi-Oh. That's, that's the word I was trying to think of. Um, okay. Maybe we'll do... Say some of that, because those tie in together. Uh, Vampire Collection? I don't think I've... Sh I, I hope I didn't mix this one up, because I don't think I've shown this one to you guys yet. Found this weird hard case. It's got raised uh, picture on the top there. Vampires, disc one and disc two. Dracula and his vampire bride. Dracula's curse. Carnal and the vampire night orgy. So I don't know. I don't know what this is. Like I said, I hope I haven't shown this particular one yet. I don't think I have. To. Uh, Two DVD collection. I don't know. Nothing special on the inside. This is how it looks. But uh, I don't know. I kind of like it when it's like these old classic. I'm assuming they're classic vampire movies. They don't say the dates, but uh, this this set was made in 2009. So we'll check it out. Um, some more games here. A couple movies actually. What's this one? Alien Apocalypse. The uh, only reason I grabbed this is because the cover's goofy and it's got Bruce Campbell in it. And then some, some goofy, goofy ass pictures there on the back. Hmm. Hawk. Hawks. Hawks 2. Is that how you say it? I like the aerial combat games. I, I haven't played this one, so this is going to be interesting. I'll have to check it out at some point. And I grabbed this one just because I don't think I've come across it before, but I didn't have it anyway. Face Breaker. Some sort of uh, well, boxing game, right? But it looks like it takes advantage of the DualShock 3 compatibility. Maybe it's just vibration-wise. One fist away from a facelift. Um, do we want to save more movies? What's this? Let's do a couple more games, I guess. I don't know. Star Wars Connect. The only reason I grabbed this is because of the Star Wars look like. It might be fun trying it on a Connect, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably a hunk of junk. Like most of the, <clears throat> like most of the Connect stuff. Uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I like the first book. Really like the first book. Um, I don't think I've read all of the second one. I think I sort of stopped. But uh, I like this one too because Daniel Craig. It was a good movie. Rooney Mara, Daniel Craig. Really well done. Pretty faithful to the, the first book. Um, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Remix, 1.5 Remix, HD 1.5. I never know how to say these stupid titles. I've never played these Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, this is HD 2.5, this one here. So I know they might be up my alley because they're sort of that long style RP, I guess RPG style of gameplay. But uh, I think it's just the fact that it's got the Disney characters on the front. Like, I like I like Disney in general, but I don't want, I never could stand, like, Goofy or anything like that. So I think it's the fact that they were part and incorporated, like, with these Final Fantasy slash type of characters that, which I love, Final Fantasy, but this sort of turns me off. Uh, and then I don't think I've shown these two 
but these were with the vampire ones, so I don't believe we've seen these ones yet. I don't know what the hell they are. Five Deadly Venoms. I just saw a Kung Fu Cult Classic, so I decided to pick it up. I don't know what it is, if this is any good, if it's got any value. Could be some goofy. Goofy, uh, I don't know. Martial arts movie. So I'll we'll have to check that one out. And then Five Fingers of Death. Um, again, I grabbed it because it was it was there when this one was there. But Five Fingers, I remember, uh, what, the Kill Bill movies? Five Finger Death Punch, I think, was uh, the finishing move that uh, Carradine was supposed to know of or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. I love these cheap, cheap looking labels too. So at some point I'll have to watch those. <coughs> Excuse me. Almost done here. Got a few more movies and then we've got this interesting stack of uh, books that I want to save for the end because for me, uh, I, those were the best find. Be <coughs> Should have brought a drink. Beavis and Butthead work sucks. Eight episodes of uh, Beavis and Butthead. Remember watching that when that was out on, uh, I guess, MTV, right? Um, Friday the 13th, final chapter. I don't remember which one this one was chronologically in the movies. Like, I don't know where this one was released at, even though it's final chapter, but you know, it's not the final chapter. Um, so yeah, I don't know what yours to say. Mm -mm. Doesn't say. Okay. Interesting. Anyway. Cheesy Friday the 13th. Uh, Marvel Nemesis Rise of the Imperfects. I don't think I had this one. So that's why I grabbed it. But I like the Marvel games. Uh, you may have seen in previous videos. I think a couple ones ago I picked up the first one. Here's John Wick 2. And actually I just watched the third one maybe a couple weeks ago. No. Uh, would have been in, back in December. Third one is called, uh, fuck. Uh, shoot, I forget the name now. Pandemon, not Pandemonium. Damn it, can't remember. This I was happy about finding because I was trying to find a good copy of it. I was trying to find a copy of it in general, actually. Uh, Flash Gordon. been a long long time since I've seen this movie so is the, the tape on the top so I can't really open it but it's just a blu-ray disc in there but yeah I've, uh, I was really happy to find this um, like I said it's been a while Dino De Laurentiis uh, production Dead Space for a 360 anytime you see these they're good to pick up uh, I have played probably three quarters of it it is for me it was a scary game when i was playing it uh science fiction for it, film collector set the day the earth stopped countdown armageddon monster and i am omega no idea but it's got some vintage ones in there it looks like or at least super cheesy so could be a fun watch all right we're down to these bunch of books and five, eight, 11 movies that tie in together. So we'll do the first ones. Now I found these all together. This lot of uh, books slash, I guess they're books, magazines, whatever, but um, 
And I just happened to pick these two up at the same time. So Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom. Really nice copies. Um, these might be upgrades for me, actually. I will have to double check. If I ever get around to organizing my VHS, because they are strewn all over. But what's interesting is, I grabbed these two. And then I saw this at the same time, still sealed, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So this is a 7 inch, 33 and a half RPM long play read along disc and book. So we used to have these as kids, right? Uh, you play the record on the back and the record basically reads the book to you reads this book to you as you're thumbing through the pages. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, Temple of Doom movie, Temple of Doom read along. I'm surprised it's still sealed. So that's kind of interesting. It's starting to bend there a little bit because as you know, even like with vinyl records, if you leave it sealed with the plastic on it, it shrinks eventually over time. So it causes it to start to bend. So I may, I may open this, I don't know. Uh, there's no date on the back, so that's the part I was most curious about. But uh, it's obviously got to be along the same times as the movie, right? So really cool. Really happy to find that. So nice little Indiana Jones collection. Put that in. Now, uh, let's start with the newest, maybe the least interesting one, the batch out of the group there. So I found... Again, I picked these up just for the front artwork. I think I have. I, I've i probably got these already. If not, maybe this, some other variants. But uh, the three Star Wars movies. So, But uh, when I see these covers, um, I just sometimes can't stop myself to pick them up. Especially when you get all three together. Um, yeah. And it is or it's those kind of labels. So, so anyway, the three uh, three main Star Wars movies. Now, we've got those ones. Then I found, actually, this one I've had probably for a couple months, and I just sort of forgot about it. Found this really cool one, uh, box set one, obviously newer made, but it's got this nice, beautiful. Beautiful, bright, and vibrant artwork on the box itself. Especially that Yoda. That's really nice. And then it's got this version of the movie inside. So just to show you, obviously, the comparison. And I'm assuming that these ones... These ones here are the ones with the uh, dopey uh, Lucas extra special effects, I would assume. But I didn't have this particular set. I just thought, you know, the graphics are, the artwork's really nice on it. So why not pick it up? Now, I found this the other day. Again, this is uh, the three movies again but with even the better artwork. I'll show you variants anyway. So we've got this one, which I like a lot better, but you'll see the variations compared to you know, the obvious slight tweaks. I don't want to spend all day on these, but, and then we're sharing the Jedi. But what was really cool is I found these books, which are all vintage Star Wars related. And I found another one of those uh, record books still opened, but this is uh, Return of the Jedi, unfortunately. 
But there would be the record you would play. Which goes in the back of the book. And then you know, there is there would be the read along that they would do. So you would just follow along the words as as the record uh, played it out for you as well. So just like the Indiana Jones one. So there was that. Then there was this Empire Strikes Back uh, official collector's edition. What year is this? Um, this is 1980. So that was pretty cool. It's weird. It's got 295 on it, but it also has UK pricing on there. So I'm not sure where it came from. But I'm trying, I haven't even gone through them myself yet. I might do like a particular video on it, but it's got all this fantastic artwork, you know. Scenes from the movies. Um, well, scenes from Empire Strikes Back, I should say. And I think they explain certain things and talk about certain parts of the movie. So I thought that was a really nice addition to add. And then more Star Wars. We've got, that was Empire. This is Return of the Jedi, 1983. And again, the same lines. Um, like, I don't think these have really even been opened because... Spine really hasn't even been cracked on it. Mm. I don't know. I can't even open it that far for you guys, but pretty cool stuff. So Empire, Return of the Jedi. Here's another Empires that has uh, Eaton's 99 cents price tag still on it, but this is a coloring book. And I like how it's got the old uh, Kenner, Kenner symbol down there. And obviously it's a kid's coloring book, so uh, there's a good picture here. I don't know, C-3PO and it might be Luke. I don't know. So that's style of coloring, but none of the pages have been colored in. Again, just really, really cool. I like how it's got that Eaton's. And this is from 1980. And then finally, the last one, uh, Star Wars Attack on Reading. A Star Wars Comprehension Book, believe it or not. Uh, and this is literally like, this is 1979. Star, starring all your reading and Star Wars characters. But it's literally like, how do you say stormtroopers? Uh, what and definitions of them, and it does uh, scenes from the movie, and then there's like quizzes on it. So th these are like there would be the actual scenes from the movie. I move these tapes, and then here are your like your quizzes on the actual. You know, teaches you how to pronounce uh, certain things phonetically, how to spell them, what they mean. And then there's your quizzes at the bottom. Uh, what else did they have here? Answer keys to figure stuff out. 
Um, is there any cool scenes here? Uh, yeah, it's just, just really weird. Like, it's literally going through the whole movie. And then it quizzes you on what happened. Like, what happened in this reading? Uh, they quiz you on the bottom corner down here. It's pretty interesting. I don't know. I've never seen something like this before. So, for me, uh, really, this was a nice addition to the collection because this I remember like the coloring book as a kid but I don't think I remember seeing these particular ones or the reading comprehension <coughs> this I remember seeing I might have even had it as a kid but you know definitely nice additions um anyway um uh, I think this that's probably it for now I think yeah so a good return to the channel I want to make some changes this year um if you guys want, leave in the comments below what you'd like to see me show you in the channel. Um, if you want a different format for stuff, I don't just want to do pickup videos because I find them, for me, boring. Even though I like finding the stuff and showing it to you, it's, you know, it'd be nice to sort of mix it up a bit more. So I want to do some more gameplays. I want to maybe do some more collection highlights and then focus on certain things that I have in there and get more in depth on them uh, in individual videos. But leave me a comment below telling me what you thought about these pickups that you saw today. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, again, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It, making that push for 2000 subs. And uh, let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks again, guys. We'll catch you again very soon.